everybody this is nate doing another day hike today we're doing a p2k that's a peak of a 2000 feet or more of prominence in new mexico today we're doing timber mountain it is right behind me it is pretty close to the town of truth or consequences you can actually uh see it from the slope so far i'm here with my dad this is my first like real hike since uh breaking my ankle back in mid-june um, I haven't really done anything like this yet. Last weekend, I drove up to Capilene Peak in the Jemez, which was a full drive up. Walked around the summit a little bit, kind of got a feel for what I could do. And I felt like, okay, I think I can do a mile long off trail hike. Uh, like I said, the hike is only a mile and that's round trip distance. We parked at some radio towers behind me and definitely that road is a four wheel drive high clearance road. It was quite the adventure getting up that road. Uh, I think a lot of people who don't have the vehicle tend to park at Ghost Tank and do this hike, but I was, for obvious reasons, trying to shave off as much distance as possible. Um, it's been slow going for sure. I am probably averaging about half a mile an hour right now. Um, and that's, a lot of it is really just the uneven ground. Going downhill is pretty difficult uh, just because those are the muscles that, those are like the last bits of muscles and whatnot to kind of grow back the ones that kind of steady me like that. He's been doing a lot of this, a lot of waiting for me to catch up. We made it to the summit of Timber Mountain. That's it behind me. I'm moving off the summit to take some video. Uh, just beautiful views of the whole Rio Grande Valley. Um, nice views to the east of here. Um, it's a really incredible peak. I'm happy to be out here and I'm happy to have done this peak. I'm not gonna lie, it's very difficult. My ankle's pretty sore right now. I, it's not too bad. It's not like a sharp pain, but it is definitely like a dull ache and I still have to go back. Uh, and actually downhill is the hardest part for me, so it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm still happy to be out here. First hike since breaking my ankle. Um, it's really nice to test it out, see how things are going. Uh, I did forget, unfortunately, both sunscreen, so hopefully I don't get too badly burned. And uh, I also forgot good boots. That probably would have helped me out a lot for this, but I only have my beat up old trail runners. This mountain is on the 2000 foot prominence list, like I said, but it actually has surprisingly high prominence for it being such low elevation. I think it's only like 7,800 feet tall or something, which makes it pretty low on the, pro on the elevation. It's like in the lower half of elevation on the prominence list, but uh, definitely I think top half. This is actually my, uh, I'm now 50% done with the New Mexico prominence list. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, after getting the halfway done on the 12,000 foot list, kind of got rod for me this summer. It's nice to at least know that I got the uh, 2,000 foot prominence list. Made it back to the car, as you can see. Really beautiful view from Timber Mountain. See, that's it behind me. Uh, ankle hurting. 
modifying some of my plans these com these couple weeks because I think uh, I was a little too optimistic about my abilities. But we did this hike, and that's what matters. See you guys next time.